you, if you come to Uganda here, here in Uganda, in 2008 I was investigating torture. I, Andrew Mwenda, with the independent. There at Summit View here, near here at Kololo, the CMI was running a detention facility together with the CIA, together with the US government, where they were arresting young people, torturing them, especially young Somali men traveling through Uganda who are Muslims. Then Uganda, Uganda would arrest them, get the names, hand them over to the US embassy. The US embassy would send them to the laboratory in Washington, D.C., the FBI laboratory. If they find your name uh, is consistent with the names they have in their list, they will take these boys and uh, these uh, Somali men and they will disappear. No one has ever seen them. They the American, will take them from Uganda. Yes, but America has a program well, called rendition. Yeah. Yes. I mean to yes. So the U.S. is complicit. The U.S. government is complicit <laughs> in torture with the government of Uganda in the war on terror. The United States government has a program called rendition. That's euphemism yes. for kidnap. Mm. They kidnap you from here, they take you, and then it outsources this torture to <coughs> its uh, friendly <laughs> autocracies in the Middle East. They torture you under guidance of the CIA. The torture, they call it enhanced interrogation methods. Mm. That's a euphemism for that we are torturing you, waterboarding. But you can, you have followed Guantanamo Bay, yeah. Abu Ghraib. So if we look at the United States alone, before we even come whether Kaihura was committing these crimes or not, the United States officially involves in torture. So the question for us this evening should be, why would a government that handles torture as an official policy sanction a poor little uh, a police officer in a poor, irrelevant country? So we can discuss both. We can discuss, for me, did, it Kaihura, is the did Kaihura do the things he's accused of having done? And... Why should the U.S. be the one to take the lead when they sanction okay, let me as a tell you this about Kaihura. I cannot deny that police in Uganda under Kaihura could have tortured somebody. Mm. But what I can say is that Kaihura is not the kind of person who would sanction torture. You see, no police office of force in the world can say we, we, we have eliminated torture. So the standard should be, what did you do as police chief to ensure that if there is torture, <clears throat> those involved are punished? Okay. And Kaihura will tell you, I saw in his statement, that he created a police standards, professional standards unit mm. to ensure that the police uphold the ethics. Two, he created the human rights and legal services unit mm. in order to ensure that in the police force, if anybody is accused of uh, abusing human rights, they would go to them. So okay. did he officially sanction torture? Because you mm. need to prove that. The accuser must bring a case. You know, the United States is using vague things. They should bring a case and say there is a, a human being called Andrew Mwenda. He was arrested by police on the orders of Kale Kaihora and Tocha. I'm going to come back to you. Mm. Um, Honorable Segona, you have heard what uh, Andrew has started us on with. Um, do you agree with...